The Infinite Pit of 100 Trials is a mod for Thousand Year Door that turns the Pit of 100 Trials from the base game into a standalone roguelike game. You gain items, badges, abilities, and even partners along the way as you level up and the enemies scale up with you. There's also a ton of balance changes for different items and partners, and each enemy is also given an item to hold that they can use against you, which drastically changes how they can behave in battle. There's also this huge menu of different settings that you can change, which make this mod super customizable and replayable. Last time, I played all the way to floor 100 and defeated Bone Tail just using the default settings so I could get a feel for how the game's changed and how difficult it is. And now today I want to see just how far I can make it in this before the enemies get too strong for me to be able to beat. So I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna play some Thousand Year Door. Yeah, I'm gonna be real by the way, if some things in my inventory don't quite match up with the end of last video, that's because I forgot to save on floor 100, so I had to replay it to this point. But, you know, that's, that's chill. <laughs> so, let's rank up Vivian. So, I don't know how much stronger things are gonna be right away. I mean, that guy was weak as sh but... Oh, I still have so many defense down things equipped. I did 13 damage. Well, that's so much for him to do to me. I have four P up D downs on. I'm also wearing return postage. So Mario does take a little bit of damage, I would say. So we'll go ahead and heal him up. I will ditch these badges at some point. I just don't want to ditch them yet because I like doing all that damage. I'm going to punch this guy so that the wizard will waste his Ultra Shoom on the Frost Piranha. Watch, Frost Piranha will attack. I'll fail to super guard, but he'll die. That wasn't in the script. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um. Let me look really closely. It's that one. It's this guy. Dude, I can't hit any super guards today. Okay, it's hell of the guy in the back. All right, you know what? It's hell of the guy in the front. At this point, aren't wizards and elite wizards just gonna be like the same strength? No, the answer is no. Holy sh There's so much health to go around here. All right, I'm gonna hit him with the art attack. This is a threatening spread of enemies right here. Five homies in arms. Okay, I just need the damage on these. Okay, so that killed him, and then Fiery Jinx should kill everything except the Chomp. Maybe? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I actually hit a Super Guard for once. Yeah, if, that, if I didn't kill everything, I probably would have been screwed. Wow, the, the difficulty is going to scale pretty fast, I'm thinking. So that was like, what, 103 or 104? Ah, I forgot he does that in the overworld and he doesn't run after you. God, what the f***? That was a scam. Okay, but I think this combo will work. Okay, solid. Good. And now I leveled up. Now I can get some more health so that poor Mario stops getting bodied. Okay, 30. I feel so much more survivable now. Like, that's a big increase. Yeah, those health... Wait, the health bars are bugged. I know who's the real one. It's it's the one that's health bars and screwed up, right? Dude, get f***ing tattled on. I think the HP plus causes that bug. Oh, and now the fire ruins him. Okay, sick. Wow, that guy just got f***ing destroyed. I, I read that guy like a book and I didn't even mean to. I am illiterate and I still read him like a book. Wait. He can use that on me? <laughs> I didn't realize enemies could use trial stew on me. That's crazy. What a villain. Hell yeah. Power plus P. Oh my god. It's insane that Mario got down to peril twice during that battle. Oh, an intermediate floor. All right, give me another partner. Goombella or Yoshi. Charge P. Power lift. Oh, power lift's good. P down, D up. Game's trying to bribe me into raising my defense, but no, sir. Another life shroom. Don't I already have like 50 life shrooms though? I have three. I don't need to... I'm just going to not buy anything. Just save my money for better rolls on future floors. It's kind of funny that I'm seeing so many hyper Goombas in this section because I don't think I saw a single one of those in the other section. Oh, I should have left him alive. He has a jump man. Jump man's really good. No, he dropped hammer man instead of 
jump man. I should I should have let him live and then mismoused him. It would have been worth it. It would have been worth all the other hassle of dealing with that battle. Okay, Koopa Trolls are kind of easy money because they can just get knocked on their back and then they're like not even real. All these battles with five enemies are- <gasps> Wait, he has power bounce. We're getting power bounce. I'm going to tank everything else. I have to get power bounce. Yes. Yes. Power bounce is so good. Ooh. <laughs> he one shot himself though. That's funny. Yeah, multi-bounce is still strong. Power bounce, though, for a single target goes crazy. Like, if there's another mini-boss, I'm just gonna power bounce his ass into oblivion. There's an amazing daisy. I didn't realize those could even spawn. There's also another power bounce. Oh, no. Bobbery confused is pretty bad. Wait, they're both confused? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. That is how you heal confusion. And now I'll <laughs> you grab my money. And we'll try that again. And now... Give this a good old jump, and then... Ouch. The stage hazards are honestly one of the worst parts of having all the PFD downs. Cause like, you can play around like the enemy's doing a ton of damage. You know, you're expecting it, it's consistent, you can super guard and everything. But with the stage hazards, they just come out of nowhere and they're all really hard to super guard. Just cause they're like, very unpredictable and like, completely just feel based. Bonus sword, Shine Sprite, don't use more than 6 FP. I don't need a Shine Sprite that bad. Alright, hold on, you ready for this? Ready for this? Gonna scare him away? No FP needed. Just that simple. Game's that easy when you're as good at predicting luck outcomes as I am. And mystery. You don't want to be using an item that has a random effect when you're dealing with the f***ing strongest enemies the Mushroom Kingdom has ever known. Like, this guy is a bigger threat than Bowser himself. Yeah, these things have quite a bit of health now. So, I'll... Flip them all on their sides. Yeah, see, Dark Coup Patrols, I'm still... Like, that's one of the easier enemies to fight. Anything that you can just incapacitate with a jump is so easy once you have multi-bounce. Um, I mean, I guess a Jelly Shroom is better than a... Jam and jelly. Like, technically, it, it also heals health, you know? Like, there's no real reason to not take the jelly ultra, I guess, other than the fact that it's stupid. Bonus rewards, shine sprite, win with Mario in danger. No, thank you. I will go without one of those, please. All right, I'm gonna level up. Let's hit him with the level two art attack. So this is just normal art attack, right? Will this do three per hit? This move is actually nerfed compared to normal. Because this normally costs 4 SP to use this move and do 3 damage per trace. But in this, it takes uh, 5 FP to do 3 damage per trace. I just got scammed on that. I was going to finish him off. Alright, give me Yoshi or Goombella. Garnet Star. Wait, there is level 2 Showstopper. Why is there level 2 Showstopper? What does it do? Quick Change. Quick Change is so good. Uh, th that chest had two Garnet Stars in it. Um, I'm not seeing a jump, man. Defend plus is tempting, but I am not responsible enough to give Mario more defense. Okay, something I want to figure out. How much damage does Miss Mouse do in this state? She does 11. That's one stronger than Bobbery. That just said bonus reward, shine sprite, appealer, defend only for five turns. No shot. No way I would do that. Do I need level 3 showstopper? What Doesn't level 1 showstopper already work like a billion percent of the time? Okay, fat fingered. I meant to press that button twice. I mean, I still got two of them. I was like trying to press it so fast that I just like didn't press down far enough. I kept making fun of these guys in the last infinite pit video and it's, it's still justified. I still stand by it. They're very cute. I like, I like their design, you know, I like what they stand for. In terms of, like, battle design and gameplay, it's a cool idea, but they're just so f***ing weak. Wh that's Red Bones. That's the f***ing guy from Hooktail's Castle. What are you doing here, little one? Yeah, he can just be here. He's just hanging. Am I able to steal that when he's in the air? I don't think I can. Can Miss Mouse target in the air? Oh, she can. I'll take that, sir. Thank you. Having a real life, actual lucky day is so good. He didn't even drink it. He healed himself, but he didn't even drink it. He just kind of wiggled his health potion. He went, uh, 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 which is probably a motion that he's practiced a lot. Just a regular flavored pokey. I haven't seen one of those in a while. There's also some other slightly larger guys. Yeah. 
power bounce goes so crazy. All right, it's time. What is the HP sucker do? Oh wait, actually no, I should heal Mario. <laughs> I shouldn't be using an HP sucker right now. Oh, f oh, f I didn't realize his attacks did that. I don't have anything that heals status, do I? Oh, sh this is inconvenient. This is life-threatening also. Guess I'll just heal Mar. I just gotta keep him alive. Man, this sucks. I did not know that guy's attacks immobilized. Otherwise, I would've just regular guarded it and taken the damage. The Dark Boo doing 14 is insane. So I guess I just gotta heal Mario again. <laughs> God, my good items, no. I almost just should've let him die and use a life shroom. That probably would've been less valuable than this. That's right, he gets an extra special attack when he has four of them. And it's really laggy. Oh my god, it redid the immobilize! And he's lagging, he lagged the shit out of my game, is it gonna catch up? Dude, my game's running at 30 FPS after he used that attack, what the fuck is this? He broke my game! God damn it, that's right, it redid the effect. Okay, just life shroom him, just life shroom him, I I'm give up, I give up. I didn't know that this guy's attacks immobilized, I would've killed him first turn if that was the case. No more of your reindeer games. Okay, that battle was pretty frustrating. The, the immobilize effect is just actually brutal. Did I lose all of my life shrooms in this one battle? <laughs> Is that what happened here? It's scaling up so quickly because I've I'm barely doing more damage than when I fought Bone Tail. All right, we'll go for more HP. Fine, I guess. All right, well at least we live to see another floor. One thirty. No, why is it flurry? Why not Yoshi or Goombella? Why? Why did it have to be flurry? Uh, I think flurry is also buffed in this probably, but I just don't care. I don't want flurry. Sorry, flurry. No offense, girly girl. Wait, that was ice power. I need to buy ice power really badly. I don't know if Goombella is considered one of the best partners. I always use her when I play casually because I feel like multi bonk is pretty strong. Oh God, there's another one of those things. Okay, power shell does hit the flying guy. That's fine. Yeah, heal three health, buddy. That's worth your time. He could do 20 damage to me, but nah, instead he's just gonna heal three health. <laughs> okay, that battle was refreshingly easy after what we just dealt with. It dropped the lucky day. I have two lucky days to my name now. Okay, this is a job for Bob. <laughs> okay, let's, let's use this opportunity to test how much damage some things do. How much damage does Flurry do with her base attack? I mean, that's with whatever attack increases I have on. I think she might do seven by default. Oh, uh, fighting a battle of five coup patrols is such a nice victory lap after some of these other ones. So multi-bounce, and then you already know what that guy has. P up, D down, P. I'll take. Partner defense matters far less to me than Mario defense, so I'm down to max those out. Ouch, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? How did I miss that? How did I miss every single one of those? I deserved to die there. Like there was no, no excuses for that. I missed two spiky Gloomba super guards. All right, so I'm back on 130, right? Yep. Kind of cringe. Ready for take two? I'm doing exactly the same thing. I steal that and then just good old showstopper level one should be fine. I'm just gonna fing delete them. I'm gonna delete them off the face of the planet. Sure. All right, relative. I got off relatively scot-free there. Okay, I feel like I've kind of caught up with the strength a little bit because I can now. Oh wait, that wizard has hella defense. But wait. Oh, okay. Does that freeze him also? Yeah, that freezes him. That's fine. Yeah, but I've like caught up to the point where my multi bounce and like Coop's power shell can take out so many things again. Like it's always kind of been that way, but I feel like I was falling behind on that. Now I'm so barack. All right, Goombella or Yoshi. Sweet Feast? Wait, they have Sweet Feast and Sweet Treat? Lucky Start, Tornado Jump. Still no badges that I want to stock up on. If he has a Jump Man ever again, I'm going to buy as many of them as I can afford. Because Jump Man, when you have one of them, the rest of them are just free Power Pluses. There's like no reason to use a Power Plus when you have Jump Mans. Oh, that guy has another All or no Nothing also. I want that. This All or Nothing is, once again, once you have one of them, it's just a cheaper Power Plus. It's not as good as Jump Man because it costs more, but it's still worth. Okay, I hella slept on Miss Mao's last video. Miss Mao's is so, so good. Just being able to steal the stuff like gives you the chance to roll for so many more badges than just based off drops. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I really need to kill everything pretty fast because <laughs> these can do so much damage. I missed, I did not mean to press the button that many times. Just use items and throw. I don't think he, wait, will he use the tasty tonic to cure, cure the fire? Is the AI smart enough to do that? 
<laughs> he actually did. That's actually hilarious that he cured the fire. So I'm on 146. Am I going to see a boss again on 149 like there was on 49? He got lucky. That's crazy that he just did that. I'll kill the guy with the stopwatch. I don't even know if Bobbles can use items. Fuck. That ended so badly for me. Man, him getting lucky on the kiss thief. Unfucking called for. All right, let's improve the situation here a little bit. Should have used Vivian. That was fun. He got three luckies in a row. Wait, no, he didn't. He got two in a row. Okay, don't get lucky here though. Oh, fuck. Fuck. dude, I got so scammed. I got so scammed. I don't want to keep dying on every fucking set of floors. Now I need to replay the last five. Why did he take one less damage? Does ice power make them take one less damage from fire when an enemy holds it? Is that what happened there? Don't get a lucky this time. All right, let's hit him with showstopper level two. Let's see if the odds are better for this. I don't know what, I have no idea what the odds are for this or if the action command's any different. Okay, you do the attack the same, so it's literally just better odds. That's fine. Yeah, he can't even use a stopwatch. He doesn't have hands, so. Nothing to worry about there. Okay. Floor 146. We're back and we're past it. And now I have another lucky day. Wait, if this is a lot of bats, I need zap tap. I would, in fact, describe that as a lot of bats. Oh, but they're not that strong. Never mind. We're fine. Only the last guy's even gonna live. And then I'm gonna super guard him or I'm gonna get a lucky. I'm gonna get a lucky. That's what's gonna happen. Ready? Game's easy. Look at that. I'm so f***ing smart. It's weird how some of these battles go so seamless and smooth, and then others will just, like, absolutely destroy me. And to be fair, the theme with my two losses so far was I was trying to do Kiss Thief to get an extra badge. Oh, there is another Atomic Boo. Oh my god, alright. Why does he look bigger than before? He has 120 health? Damn, girl. No, give me the attack up panels. My defense is cosmetic at this point anyways. Please, give me attack up. Dude, I got scammed. Yeah, power bounce is pretty good against him. Okay, this is going to be the important thing to do here. Because I know that attack can immobilize you, I think. All right, see you later, Atomic Boo. Okay, with 120 health, he's- or, yeah, like 120-ish health, he's not that scary. Wait, so am I gonna fight another Bone Tail on floor 200? There's no way that's how this works, where you fight an Atomic Boo every 50, and, uh, Bone Tail every 100. Emerald Star, Crystal Star, Crystal Star, chill out. Where are the rest of the partners? Where are they? Where are you keeping them? He does 16! Did not realize he did 16 damage now, did not realize we were in those territories. Also, I'm going to tab out real quick because I need to sign up for next semester of college classes. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to hit FP. I was trying to scroll over to badge power, but you know what? We'll take it. FP is fine. 35 is actually like a pretty good amount because I'm just still slightly overdrafting myself. Is that a good old power plus P? I also like the looks of that pretty lucky P there, not going to lie. I don't know if I'm going to max, max out my badge inventory at this rate, but I'm down to throw away a bunch of other sh All right, I'll steal this too. Why not? All right, here's 160. Give me a partner. Level two power lift. Yoshi! I got Yoshi. Is his name just Yoshi by default? Yeah. All right, what the f*** is up, Yoshi? Welcome to the crew. Gonna immediately shove him full of shine sprites. All right, hold on. How much damage does he do with Stampede in his current state? Those buttons are tremendously loud. That was not that much damage. I think it was nine, but also these guys have hella defense, so can't be too mad at Yoshi for that one. Damn, a battle of five brothers. Koops does 12, right? Not 11? Wait, he better do 12. Please do 12. F he does 11. Just heal, just heal, just heal. It's fine. I don't want to take all this damage to the face. Holy f Ah! Thank f***ing god I hit that. Oh, I would have had to replay like 
actually only two floors, but you know, it's rough out here. God, the fire bro does the most damage out of anything that I've fought so far. He can do like 40 f***ing damage. Yeah, you heard me, Soup. He looked at me when I said 40 f***ing damage. He can't believe it either. I still died! Oh! Yeah, I was only on the second battle of this set of floors. So, we're gonna improvise my strategy a little bit this time. We're gonna take off the lucky day. I'm gonna put on all or nothing P. So now... He does 12 instead. Damn, I'm still getting 40 star points from battles. That's insane. I'm gonna max out badge power soon. Once I do, like, that's where my attack is at, and it's gonna stay there. And with that, you know, I can go without a whole lucky day for a bit. I'm just gonna put on the power plus P also. I don't need the health. I don't want to watch this animation. It takes forever. I'm just gonna complain for the whole animation so it feels like it goes faster, but real in reality, it makes it feel like it's going slower. At least I still got the super guard while I was talking shit. All right, all right, you ready for this? See the badge that guy has? He takes double damage. Koops just did 28 to that f***ing guy's dome. All right, is this 170? Yeah, 170. Give me Goombella. Finally, we got Goombella. We have the full squad. Ice Smash, level three power lift. See, one of the problems with Goombella at this stage in the game though, is that most of these battles have like four or five enemies. She's pretty strong, but only for single target. Because having multi-bonk is a fantastic option for, like... Like, it's the strongest single-target partner attack, I think. But, um... It just, like, doesn't matter that much when my main issue is having lots of enemies to fight at once. I always expect these guys to spit fireballs at me or something, but they don't have that programmed in the game because they never exist in the overworld in the base game. Alright, so how much does Goombella do default? She does 20. I mean, 20 for a single attack is pretty f***ing strong. I didn't need that lucky. I pressed the B button at the right time. I thought about setting up an input display for this video because it'd be kind of cool to see, uh, I guess when I'm pressing B for the super cards is the only interesting thing that it could show. I mean, still, it'd fill the space down there that there's really not much to do with. Killing four elite and x knots in one go is very nice. I like that a lot. Badge power, badge power, badge power, badge power. I have nine badge power that I haven't even spent on anything. I don't like actually need it, but I'll put on another lucky day, I guess. I like how I talked a bunch about really wanting to get Yoshi and Goombella, and then I finally got them and I'm like not using them. <laughs> See, I really wanted them in the earlier part though. They would have been so much more useful then. Oh my God, he was right up in my business. I can't believe I just lost that much of my health to a dark Koopa. God, Bobbery doing 15 is so, so good. Bobbery is the f***ing man. I mean, in the base game, he's kind of not, but in this, in the context of this challenge, he's kind of the man. Man, these trials go on forever. There's so many trials. I wonder how many trials there are. There is a enemy squadron staring me down right here. Ooh, I wish I had more FP. I should've just used Art Attack or something. Supernova level three? Why does that feel like a bad idea to do? I wanna try it, I'm gonna level up anyways. I wanna see how much damage Supernova level three does. Cost nine star power. What? Forget what the fuck I was just saying. That just did 60 damage to those guys. 60? What the f I've never seen anything that's not like Danger Mario do 60 damage in this game. So what I'm hearing is if you have nine star power and you're about to get a level up, there's no reason to not just delete everything on your screen. That's my understanding of the scenario. All right, is this 180? Yep. So am I just getting badges thrown at me at this point? Oh no, I don't have level three of everything. It's a regular Koopa Troopa. Okay, I can still one shot the boomerang bro with a multi bounce shell slam combo but if he gets even one more health he's gonna be caught back up to me oh wait i ignored my own rule i could have just used the supernova thing to delete them because i'm about to level up oh those guys like hella survive oh god he's gonna use the ruin powder oh he's right in my business no 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 my all or nothing still made her not attack him no no! Okay, I can still super guard. No! Stop! No! Don't do that! God damn it! I didn't escape! Just attack him. Yes. Alright. Could have been bad, but it really didn't matter that much. I should have just used Supernova like I talked about before. 
I had full star power and that does a billion damage to these guys. Badge power grind, we're almost all the way to the top. How many mega SPs do I have? I have four. No, is that five? I have four. So if I get a partner in peril, they will do plus 20 damage. I need to get Yoshi in peril. Dude, there's a Spunia. Look at this little man. He's so deep. He's on floor like 180 something. This is actually the perfect battle to get Yoshi killed because these guys only attack the front slot. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna let him get killed and wait for a heart to drop and he's gonna be my peril partner. See, that was a good arm ash right there. You like that action? You like that? Is that was that good for you? Did you enjoy? Yeah, me up. Wait, I have a life shrimp, damn it. Um, that didn't work quite as well as I wanted to. You know, he can just eat them. I want him in peril. Life stream. I was just talking about how life streams don't matter that much. F me up. All right, there we go. We now have a dead Yoshi, and as soon as a heart drops in the overworld, we will have a peril Yoshi. Mario is going to gain nuclear powers. Mario has the nuclear codes, and now all he has to do is launch. Burb, I know what we're gonna do today. Wait, this is not Kiss Thief. Oh, he got lucky anyways. Yeah, let's use the right move this time. Nice, that's three lucky days to my name. Okay, here's the one heart. So now we bring Yoshi back out. All right, Peril Yoshi is unlocked. Mario has launched the nuke. And then see, it's just as simple as this. You just bring out Yoshi, destroy the microphone with the trigger buttons, and then you destroy them with a fucking army of Yoshis that does 130 damage to everything. You just have to simply be that good at the game. Damn, that guy's flustered. <laughs> he gets pupils when you're like damaging him or when, you know, Miss Mouse gets him feeling some type of way. I super guarded that attack. I don't know if I've ever hit that one before. All right, big 190. No pain, no gain. I already have that. Shine Sprite. Sure. It's level three Sweet Feast. I think I might have all my star powers maxed out now. All right, I was really hoping that he'd have Jump Man, but unfortunately I'm not that lucky. All right, Yoshi can just delete everyone on the ground. I'm an idiot! I leveled up with Yoshi out! Oh, I didn't even f***ing think about that or pay attention to that. Wait, did I level up with Yoshi out? Or does this mod just make it so that level ups heal your whole party no matter what? <coughs> and I'm sneezing? What could any of this mean? Bonus reward. Shine Spray. Have Mario attack an audience member? I don't have control over those conditions. Oh wait, that's gonna make the bulky bomb go off. How much is it gonna do? Well, he's gonna miss Mario, but he did nine to Bobbery. Holy sh! All right, one more level, and then I have max badge power. It's still weird seeing a regular bristle here. He's not very strong. He's not good at this game. Not the way that I am. All right, that was 195, so Lightning McQueen plus 100. I see something that I might want to get my hands on. Boom. Power plusy. Okay, I want to heal Goombella with this level up, and now I will delete these guys off the face of the fing planet. Supernova kills these guys so hard that they're not even a memory. They literally just don't exist after this as a concept. See you later, bitches. Except I won't see you later because I don't even know who you are. Maximum badge power. 99 minus 4 equals 95, which equals Lightning McQueen, which is the second Lightning McQueen reference I've made in the last five minutes. Can Goombella kill this Bobolk? Yeah, she can. See, Bobolk still sucks. Bobolk just has no business being with all these strong guys. Bobolk's just hanging out over here with these guys that can be potentially be threatening, and he's just there. Is this floor 198 and we're getting a flower fussy? A full fussy battle? Man, these guys are weak as sh**. Yeah, okay. That was like one of the cheapest battles that I've had in a while. It only cost 5 FP and it wasn't close. There's like kind of a boss character for 199. That's kind of cute. I mean, this guy's not really much of a boss character. He did f me up earlier when I left him unchecked, but this time I'm going to check him. Don't worry. Yep, checked on him. He's dead. Is there going to be another bone tail on this next floor? Because if so, I mean, I'm, I'm my badges are fine. My items are fine. Like, realistically, I just got to go for it, right? Can I, I should like heal my FP first, I guess. There was two atomic booze. Will there be two bone tails? Unless this time it's some other different dragon? <laughs> no, it's literally just bone tail again. How much health does he have this time? What are you going to hit me with? He only has 300? Wait, that's it? What a weak ass bitch. All right, what does a level three power lift do? Let's find out. Okay, the panels are just more powerful so you can get more buffs. 
I got plus six attack this time. See, that's fucking spicy. And now. This bone tail is going to be significantly easier than last time. God damn it. I got to heal my Goombella now because <laughs> she's confused. So this will get rid of the confusion. I hate that fucking stage hazard so much. It's so stupid. Damn, my defense is up four and he did 12 still. His attack is a lot, but his health is just lame. I should have made Goombella attack first probably, but... Stop confusing my fucking partners. Okay, we're just not gonna use Coops for the rest of this fight. That's chill. Yeah, Bone Tail was so much easier this time. His damage output is twice as much, but mine is more than twice as much as last time. Easy. I can't believe they only gave him 300 health. I thought he was gonna have like 500. I'll finally upgrade my HP again. I still don't even have that much HP. I only have 40. All right, let's check our stats now. I don't know why it, the time is bugged. It says 99 hours, 59 minutes, 59.99. Like what the f why is that maxed out? That is not how long I've been playing this. I didn't leave it open or anything. In battle time, three hours, one minute. Average battle time, 59 seconds. Sub minute, on average, I've spent less than a minute per battle so far, which is pretty impressive. Average battle turns, 2.10. Total turns, 382. Max turns, 12, which was the last bone tail. And then the one time that I ran away, that was strategic. You guys remember that? That was strategic. I'm not a little bitch. Enemy damage taken, 14,000. Player damage taken, 869. It's less than the enemies. And super guards hit 111. All right, chest rewards, 45 out of 46. So there's only one more possible reward? Charge, Hammerman, Ruby Star. Oh, the it's the last of like the all the like things that can only be obtained once. So that'd be all the star powers and uh, partners. So I, I just got, I just got an achievement. There's achievements in this. That's fucking awesome. I didn't even know that. I didn't pay that close of attention last time. All right. So I know I told you guys that I was going to get as far down in the infinite pit as I could. And I will. I still am going to do that. But I have been recording for hours. This took a lot longer than the first one. And I feel like this is a good place to leave it off. And next time I will probably get as deep as I can go. My cat is meowing in the background. All right. Mr. Soup, if you're going to talk, you got to say hi to the people. <coughs> yep, this is Soup. He is here. I'm doing the outro, Soup. What do you want to tell the people? <coughs> he said subscribe. He always says subscribe. That's his favorite word.